What is up guys, Take James here. So I'm actually still alive guys, I'm not actually dead. This is the longest that I have not uploaded on my channel and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'd really love to be able to upload videos every day, but my life has just been such a mess recently. It honestly just sucks so bad. But I'm gonna try and make videos from now on. Maybe I'll do daily, I don't know. I'm really gonna try my best this time. Um, but anyway, we've got some really interesting news over on Wololo.com. Now this came out on April 1st. So many people saw this and just thought, PS2 emulator on the PS Vita, what the hell, this is obviously a joke. Yes, it is actually possible to run PS2 L files on the PS Vita. Many people tried to actually get it installed and they just didn't get it working. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it working if you don't quite believe it and you wanna check it out. But let's just read a bit of it. So, um, Xpi, I'm really bad at pronouncing these developers' names, but there you go, that's my try. Ports play it to the PS Vita. Ever since the dawn of the PlayStation Vita homebrew scene, a popular question has been whether the PlayStation Vita can emulate the PlayStation 2 due to its wealth of memorable titles, and the answer has always been a flat no. So yeah guys, a very, very big question that I get on my channel. Um, if I always go to my community section and look at my comments, um, you'd be surprised how many people say make a PS2 emulator video, it's a lot. So here's Dan the Unthinkable and managed to port a PlayStation 2 emulator called Play onto the console. And he's actually got a video for it here. Now this video, um, I will be able to kind of replicate this and show you guys how to do it in this video as well. And what this is actually doing is running a teapot.elf sample. So if you guys don't know what that is, um, it's basically like an elf file. If you guys have ever hacked a PlayStation 2 before, you'll know how you will know that ELF files are kind of homebrew files. You can launch them up off a USB. And as you can see, he's actually got the teapot ELF running on the PS Vita. And this is 100% a PlayStation 2 file. I might even try and get it working on my PS2 in this video. But yeah, it's really, really interesting. And um, if I even look at the comments on this post, um, I think quite a lot of people, yeah, I wonder how many people believe this. To be honest, it does actually work. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it in this video. Okay, so this is the best guide I actually found. Now, I think the reason why people think this doesn't work is because it's quite complicated to compile. I don't normally compile things in videos simply because sometimes they involve Linux and it involves lots of code and it just takes a very long time and the chances are you're able to make a mistake very easily if you're not really used to this sort of thing. Um, but what this person did, so big shout out to um, this um, girl or guy right here, um, they actually managed to get it working and they let everyone else like install it. So they've provided us with two files. We've got the playvita.vpk, so we're gonna click on this and it's gonna download it for us. And we've also got the teapot elf. Now, if you click on this, it will download it as well. Now, there are instructions and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it. So actually on your PS Vita, what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Of course, you need custom firmware if you actually want to get this app working. So we're just going to simply go and open up Vita Shell. Of course, most people probably won't want to follow along with this and they just want to see it working. But what we're going to do is we're going to press select and then we can drag and drop the files across on our computer. So if you guys did want to follow along with me, what you want to do is get teapot elf, right click, rename, and we're going to call it cube. Now this will actually make sure it works. Then you want to right click, you want to do a new folder, and you just want to call it play. Exactly like this, capital P, just play. And what we're actually going to do now is get this cube.l file and drag and drop it into the play folder. And then there you go. We're going to get the play vita and vpk, and we're going to put that on the root of our PS Vita. And um, I did actually test this earlier just to make sure it worked. So I'm just going to replace it. And the play is also so going to go onto the UXO just like that I already had it okay so now it should actually be working so what we're going to do we're going to go back onto our PS Vita we're going to install this VPK and we're going to see guys does it actually work okay so once we've got these files we're just going to go back into our UXO and we're actually just going to scroll down and we're going to look for the play underscore Vita dot VPK and from here we're actually just going to install this file so let's just tap X on it just a couple of times go ahead and install this just get it set up and then once we actually like launch it it should automatically load which I'm going to show you guys right now so we're just going to scroll down now it has got a blank icon the icon and this kind of like banner and the theme have not been made for it yet but we're just going to Go ahead and start it up 
I don't know if other elf files work, but this one does work very well. And as you can see, because we renamed it, it should automatically load it. So that's what I'm hoping it's going to do. And there you go. So for everyone that said this was fake, no, it is actually real. Um, I have got an FPS counter on, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but take note of the FPS. As you guys can see, it's only on 14 FPS. So for such a basic PS2 L file, it's not really running too well. I mean... I mean, it, it looks okay, but, you know, you don't really want something to run at 14 FPS. You'd much rather it run at 60 FPS. Anyway, we can, um, basically, yeah, if you do anything, um, you're probably going to get an error. As you can see, I tapped X, and I got an error from that. Um, but, yeah, it's just interesting to see how it actually works. Now, will PS2 emulator come out for the PS Vita? I highly doubt it. I mean, there must be people working on it, right, for them to get this working, but, um, and there a lot of effort went into this and it's very basic so yeah let me know what you think in the comments anyway that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one